Yeah, you in the right place. This is Laird and Liberty TV. What's up? It's your girl Rashina, and I'm back with another video. It's a hair video. Yes. And we're about to do a little hair experiment. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, I saw this hairstyle that I like. And I want to try it out. So right now, uh, my hair is freshly washed, dripping wet. I should probably get a towel. <laughs> Be doing right now i'm just going to moisturize my hair a little bit it's wet um i wanted to stop dripping so much so i'm just going to start moisturizing it i use the myel organics leave-in conditioner it's very much like a cord conditioner i'm still trying to figure out if i like that like this is the consistency i feel like i like something more creamy um and it's cool you see this is what it does but i hate that if i wanted to like blow dry it it leaves this filmy feeling on it I don't really like that part about it. You know, Benito Afro Bomb, I love this stuff. She got it going on. I just put a little bit of that balm on my hair and it helps with the frizz to keep everything together. And for the style that I'm doing, this is all very important. So first step, moisturize your hair. This is my theory. I have pre-stretched braid in here. So what I was thinking, was if I started a knotless braid but didn't finish it and then wrap my hair with this hair to create a bantu knot, it would be cute. Kind of like jumbo knotless braids, bantu knots. You get where I'm going with this? Stay tuned. Let's see. Little experiment. Nah, we are gonna do the V. So I went ahead and went with the V pattern only because I feel like designs work better for my face opposed to a straight pattern. And I went ahead and used my tail comb on the side of the back of my edge control, of my edge brush. And I, I definitely enjoyed the tail comb better just because I feel like it gets my part super straight. And if anybody hates a crooked part, it's me. So I'm not even gonna lie, I had to do my parts off camera because y'all, I like perfection. And this is kind of like a fail so i'll be back okay y'all so i went ahead and i parted everything the parts aren't perfect i don't even know what it looks like in the back Damn! i'm just gonna let the chair spin because i don't really know what it looks like in the back i tried my best to part it and make it straight but i'm the finesse queen so we're gonna finesse it and we're gonna act like all of the parts are straight at these three in the front um, I'll be using my base screen, this extreme gel. My my favorite is the blue, but it's all done. This is the consistency of this gel. This one doesn't hold my hair as great as the um, other one, as the blue one, but we're gonna make it work. So basically, I'm just putting a healthy amount of gel on the roots to lay it flat. I'm gonna take my handy dandy brush, and we're just gonna brush, brush, brush. And then I have my hair, and I separated a piece of hair, and so what I'm gonna do is just do like a regular braid with a big knot, which may actually help me more. Um, and then braid this all the way down to where my hair ends just so my hair could be protected. So I went ahead and tried to complete this tiny bump. However, the portion of hair that I sectioned off was too large and therefore it just kept on falling. I was a bit shocked because I thought like the bigger the better, but in that case, it definitely didn't work out. So I had to make that piece of hair smaller. I sectioned off that piece of hair again and braided my hair down to braided the braid down to where my hair ended and then continued to wrap the bantu knot. I found this way to be much easier because there was actually a base for me to twist the knot on. And once the knot was done, I went ahead and just completed it um, by twisting all the way through. I didn't use rubber bands. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna see what it looked like in the end. I'll be back much 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 later so all of the sunlight has passed and we're still doing this hair but it looks cute I'm a perfectionist so I had to like make it look 
really nice before I came back on here. Super excited to be almost done with this hairstyle. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This hairstyle was so tedious. I love it. However, the roly rolls, that's what I call them when I do my bantu knot, the little roly rolls, they kept on slipping. I guess with my hair, there's more friction and I also have less hair. So it's much easier to just roll the knot. I found it a little difficult at times and I had to get a little strategic. But I would say that I had to be really strategic also about the way I brushed my hair. I had to brush my hair to the back to make sure that the bump, the Chinese knot, the I call them chiny bumps and bantu knot. So I keep saying bump knot. <laughs> but basically to make sure that the knot um, was towards the back of my head opposed towards the opposed to the middle or front just because I wanted some of my hair in the front to show so that's also important what I also found to be important is the way that you that you twist your hair so because of the because I braided my own hair at the top it was very thick so it provides for a thick circular base once you do that it's best to maybe add some gel to your fingers, give the hair a little bit more friction, and start twisting around that base. Um, if you want your knots to be a little lower, you can twist around that same bottom knot, but I wanted my knots to be a little higher. So once I twisted about two times, I started twisting upward, and then I twisted back downward. Now that's probably why the knots kept on falling, but I wanted it to feel more spice girly than, I wasn't going for the cinnamon bun look. I was going for, uh, I don't even know, like a top knot. There you go, a top knot. And then once I was done, I went ahead and laid my edges because you know you're not done until you lay those edges. And I was definitely pleasantly surprised with my results. And I was definitely surprised with myself, y'all. And I gave myself a nice little pat on the back because I felt like I deserved it. I'm done. Let me beat that face for y'all. What is that? Beauty mode? <laughs> for all my fellow TikTokers out there that have seen that little one. Um, bam. This is the final result. I absolutely love. Now, y'all, the back is a hot ass mess. Now, when I was doing the back, I kind of figured that it wasn't completely straight. And I was just like, as long as the front is perfect, I'm kind of good on that because I did it myself. Um, and even though we're in quarantine right now and I can't go outside with it, I'm not really going anywhere. I would definitely go outside even if I wasn't in quarantine because it's not that bad. Like, it's only like right here, like this little one right here. That's really bad and I can always fix that. I can always like take it out real quick and do it over. But I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love this hairstyle. Try it at home. You ain't doing nothing anyway. Cause I know you bored in the house and you in the house bored. Bored in the house and you in the house bored. So you don't got to. Cause you bored in the house and you in the house bored. Bored in the house and you in the house bored. You're bored in the house and you in the house bored. Bored in the house and you in the house bored. So you don't got nothing better to do anyway. You might as well play in your hair. Now, with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and get off this camera because clearly I have too much time on my hands. Too much fun on this camera. But it was cool hanging with you. Until next time, like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. And come back to this channel if you loving this content. See you later. Stay safe, y'all.